my son loved his daughter with all his heart. And he would never, never, never. Oh my God. He would never let it happen. Did he you know? Trust me, you know how much he cared for that girl. He loved her so much. He loved her so much. And she loved him so much. All right, thank you, ma'am. Anything else? I want to speak. I think you would come forward. <laughs> if you want to give him a full name, get away. I am old. <laughs> I'm going to your mother. I know, to me, O'Shea wouldn't hurt his baby. No, I stay with them. O'Shea wouldn't hurt his baby. For one, hell no, that. All the stuff that came towards is not right because anytime you stop a vehicle, you're supposed to secure the vehicle and make sure someone is in the vehicle, see the vehicle, because you don't know who in the vehicle. They didn't even do that. So he didn't hurt his baby. If their car, like they say, the car was on fire, we hadn't seen the video or nothing. If the car was on fire, he went back and got his baby. He done died for his baby. I don't believe that. Is your honor? No. Hold on one second. I don't believe what they saying. That, that, he didn't, he didn't, he, mm -mm. he didn't want to kill his baby. <coughs> You know, things happen, but he didn't kill his baby. If that car was on fire, he'd have saved his baby. No. The video, that's just secure the car. They didn't even secure the car. They, they didn't even come and tell us what happened or nothing. We had to come to them to find out what happened. They didn't tell us nothing, y'all. Nothing. Nothing. They, they didn't do anything. I'm so sorry. Right. I feel like they knew their jobs, right? But we denied not his bonds. That man ain't going to run over. That man killed his baby. All right. Thank you. You may be seated. Hold on a second, sir. Right. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, sir. All right, Mr. Norman, I want to make sure you understand your rights again. Do you understand that you have a right to remain silent? Yes, sir. All right. Do you understand that anything you say could be used against you and your silence yes, cannot be used against you? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Do you also understand by state law that it's mandatory that your bond be denied? Yes, sir. All right. Having told you those rights and going over with that with you, do you want to make any other statements or would you like to remain silent from this point forward? I just, I just want to say what I did get out of the car. So you do want to make a statement? I don't really want to make a statement. I, just, I want to make a statement about when I got out of the car. That's all. It was, I just know that the car wasn't on fire when I got out of the car. I wouldn't have got out. I would have stayed in that car with my daughter. I wouldn't have never got out of the car while the, dog, while the car was on fire. I seen sparks come from the tires, which is why I tried to stop. And I couldn't stop at that point. I don't know why. What happened to the car? Why I couldn't stop. It was going by itself. I couldn't hit the gas or the brakes or anything anymore. But when I hit the brakes, it, I just kept going the same amount of speed. I don't know if it was grinding because of the tire had fell out. But. Okay. I definitely, I would never leave my daughter. I would never. I would have stayed in that car. If I couldn't get my daughter out of that car, I wouldn't have got out. All right, anything else, sir? No, sir. All right.